Hey guys, we're doing it. We're doing the MTB slam. I think there's actually something in the YouTube terms and conditions. It says if you're a fisherman on YouTube, you've got to do the mystery tackle box challenge. <laughs> All jokes aside though, I'm actually pretty excited to do this. Uh, it's going to be literally like everyone else's that's done one of these, but also a little bit different. In my hands, I hold the mystery tackle box elite box and I, it was $49.99 at Dick's Sporting Goods but what we're going to do that's just a little bit different is we're also going to be comparing it to the Sixth Sense bag and the Monster Bass bag and I think what's really cool about that is that the Sixth Sense bag and the Monster Bass they let you pick your location and the water depth that you're going to be fishing from. Mystery Tackle Box you just get what you get but I want to compare them all. We're not going to do it all in the same video it's going to be a three video series and we're going to find out dollars to donuts which one is the better value and which one is the more encompassing package for instance if i get a texas rig worm in here and we don't have a weight that's a mark against mystery tackle box if the monster bass comes with like a nico rig but doesn't have the wacky hooks well that's a mark mark against monster bass but let's not waste any more time if you're new to the channel and this video brought you here welcome i hope you enjoy it i will hope that you check out some of my other videos and that you like it and you stick around and get subscribed all my returning family thank you for checking out this video as well let's get into the box Elite. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good box. So we're going to start with the less exciting stuff and work our way up. First things first, we got a seven pack of three odd extra wide gab worm hooks. I like that in the Elite box, they actually include a whole pack of hooks. I've tried the Pro box and then just the standard box as well. Usually like whether you get Eagle Claw or Guggen Hooks or Stickies, it's usually like a two or a three pack. I like that this box is included, all seven hooks. That's a mark for Mystery Tackle Box. Next in the box, we got, they must be really proud of these because we've had these in two of our three Mystery Tackle Boxes. The Gambler Go Fish, three inch otter. It's just a little three inch creature bait in Green Pumpkin. We could probably use that as a Texas rig, or if there's a jig in the box, we'll put it on the jig. Not bad, not bad. Speaking of, a Diesel Jigs football jig. Not bad. It's Okeechobee Craw, which is, it's a four-odd hook, which is a green pumpkin in blue. I think it's going to catch fish. We could throw that gambler on the back of here. Probably hook up in no time. Next on the list, we'll save that until after I show you. We've got a Perfection Lures three-pack of quarter-ounce shaky heads. I like this. I think they also have these little nobbins on here so that it tends to stand up in the water. I'll show you that when we get out on the water. And to go with that, we've got a pack of the 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug in blue craw, which is like a nice watermelon red flake mixed with blue. It's, you know, it's a Z-Man alternative to the, to the Ned rig. Shouldn't be any problem hooking up here. Next on the list, We've got a pack of the K Lynn's Sunny 3.8 inch Tickle Tail. This is just like a watermelon black flake, uh, four inch swim bait. You know, we could throw this on a Texas rig or we can throw it on the back of this jig and swim it along. We'll figure something out. Next on the list, we've got an Optimum Baits Innovation Design Performance little swim bait here. And they call this Chameleon. I don't know how we'll do on this. It might be a bit of a challenge but we're gonna give it our best shot. Hey, bud. After that, we got a 3.75 inch Buka Bull Shed, uh, Bull Gill, forgive me. You know, a swim bait is probably one of my least confident yet favorite baits. Anything we catch on this is gonna be pretty sizable. I'm pretty, look I'm looking forward to fishing this. And then last and certainly not least, perhaps my favorite bait in the box, we've got a Guggen Banger in Sexy Shad. This is the two to five foot, two and a quarter inch long, or two, to, yeah, two and a quarter inch long and three eighths of an ounce. Hooking up on that should not be a challenge at all. So we gotta lay some groundwork. There are gonna be a bit of rules to this. First things first, bank angling only. I can fish any of the bodies of water that you guys have seen me fish in my videos, which being from Southern Illinois is quite a few, but not from the kayak. Bank only, all three boxes. Second rule, I can take as many days as I want to film this, but I've got a cumulative of six hours per box or bag to fish these lures. And if I can't do it, I can't do it. We're going for the slam on all three of them. 
hopefully we can get that done. And then last but not least, some of the bodies that I fish have really aggressive green sunfish. The only fish that count towards these slams are bass, largemouth bass and spotted bass specifically. Well, with that done, it looks like I got a lot of other people here at Pond 8041 to fish, A41 to fish against. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. Let's go. Well, who's this guy? I saw those green rod tips. I was like, man, that's got to be Eric. <laughs> Anybody who's been on the channel recognizes this guy. How's it going? Last time we were here, I heard this guy. Are they biting, you know? I've gotten two, and one of them was smaller than this here six-inch fluke. Hey, you know what? We're doing the MTB Slam. It doesn't matter how big they are, as long as they're bass. You know, this is the first time I've ever ran into a quote-unquote subscriber. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm officially famous. I'm running into subscribers now. In all fairness, I did just watch like three of your videos last night. Oh, thanks, man. All right. So guys, we're gonna we're gonna try doing this uh, perfection lure shaky head for the Zakoshi bug, but if I keep getting caught up in all this grass, we're gonna switch it over to a weedless presentation. Oh, hold that thought. My man's got a fish. Feels pretty decent. He looks pretty decent. What do we got going on here? Hey, that's a healthy fish. No, it's cool. I, di I didn't need to catch him for my video or anything. It's fine. Sorry. Well, he's in your video. <laughs> well, it's true. You just didn't get him. <laughs> Dang. What? I'm going to say that's a two and three quarter. Maybe just shy of three. Yeah. He's a healthy boy. He's thick. Look at that. Yeah. Good job, man. It's a Koshi bug on that little shaky head. Let's get it done. We're fishing this on our medium light defy, which is really like a medium. That's grass and a uh, Daiwa Exeler with six pound fluorocarbon. Mmm, look at that grass. See guys, this is what I was talking about. I'm not sure with all these extrusions and open hook, the shaky head's gonna be the right move for right here. So we might have to switch it up to like a Bomber by uh, VMC, weedless, but we'll give it a good college try. All right, guys, that settles it. Every single cast, we're just getting all sorts of grass. I'm going to have to go ahead and switch it over to a weedless presentation for the Sakoshi bug. It's a shame, but we're not going to count that against Mystery Tackle Box because there are bodies of water without a lot of grass this time of year. Yeah, I don't have the, uh, the goji nope. rod, which is the really Never mind. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Come on. Good. Come here. <laughs> he is running me, man. Oh my goodness. That is a good fish. Come here, buddy. Six pound braid so we can't horse him. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Like a copy of the one I just Dude, that's a good way to start a slam. Oh, buddy. Dang, buddy. <laughs> Let's get a weight on this guy. Zero it out with the clipper. My PB this year is 3.75. I don't think he beats it. Uh, uh, he's probably pretty close to it, though. Two pounds, settle. Eight ounces. Two and a half pounder to start the day. Dude, your good luck. <laughs> oh, man. All right, dude. Well, I appreciate you coming and stopping by. And away he goes. Woo! See, this is my least favorite part of the slam, guys, where I have to cut off a lure that just caught me a fish. I think, do I have another finesse presentation in here? We're not throwing the, uh, not throwing the banger here. We're not throwing the bullgill here because I don't want to lose them. So that leaves the swim bait, the gambler, the jig, and this little swim bait thing here. Let's try the jig. See if we can't get on a jig bite. All right, we got that Diesel Jigs Okeechobee Craw, which is a blue and green pumpkin and black with this green pumpkin three inch otter. Hopefully we can put this jig down just as quick as we did the Sakoshi bug and start moving into some of the more challenging baits. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could get over there. So somebody told me that there is a section where they burn, and you can clearly oh. see that. Oh my god, is this another good fish? 
He said there's like a game path that gets you over there. Oh my gosh. I find it. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is... Good Dang, man. He's a little smaller, but dude, he dogged me. <laughs> now you gotta take that one off. Diesel jigs getting done, man. Awesome. I guess so. It's you, dude. You're good luck. All right, let's see here. Let's try the swim bait. You never know. This little perfection lures, or I'm sorry, optimum baits. They call this the chameleon. We're going to give it a shot. All right, I've never fished anything like this, guys. This chameleon little swim bait by Optimum Baits. But we'll see how it does. I'm hopeful. Try not to lose it. Ooh, the action on that's actually really, really good. Huh. You know, I was counting that little swim bait as one of those, you know, cheap throw in the box baits that they use to meet their price quota. But the thing swims really well. I might actually order a couple of those. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Oh no. You just can't get into it because they would never run. Well, I found that snag I was talking about. They call this the chameleon. We're gonna give it a shot. But I absolutely refuse to do the bullgill here. I don't want to lose it. You don't want you don't feel like swimming today? Not particularly, considering these are the clothes I gotta wear to church. Oof. Gosh darn it. I thought I had a fish too, so I just laid into it. Alright. We're doing it. <laughs> we're going swimming. Shoes and all. Last thing I need to do is cut my foot open on somebody else's hook or something. Whew. Hey, this water is freaking cold. I need you to hold the rod, keep that line high so I can follow it. And then help the people document my stupidity. <laughs> Reel it. <laughs> I mean, if you're in there already, I got I got a big one right over here. You <laughs> oh, I need to get Jacob from Chaos Divers out here. Uh, I'll tell you what, he'll find he'll find probably a few thousand dollars worth of my lures if he goes. <laughs> well, I'm filthy, but the slam continues. <laughs> well, I think it's time we move spots. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I bet you feel refreshed though. I do. Gonna have to go home and change now, but that's all right. All right, so we got our little swim bait back. We got bathed, we're ready for church. And on the way, I thought we'd hit this little uh, strip pit that we like to fish so much. I'm pretty sure we can knock out the banger and that little swim bait here. That bull shad, I don't know guys, I th or the bull gill. I think that bull gill might be my undoing on this slam, but we're gonna try. We've only spent like an hour fishing over at pond a41 so we got plenty of time left in the challenge wherever we end up fishing but i'm just so weak with the swim bait i don't know but let's go ahead and throw this banger first this wind is really picking up if there's bad wind noise guys i am sorry can't really help that this grass line is not going to help me out any that's for sure i've got literally exactly 40 minutes to fish so we're, we're going to do the best we can. We're throwing this on the uh, Quantum Accurist S3. It's a 6.3 to 1. It's a super slow reel. But, you know, I, this is the only non Daiwa reel I own now. And it's actually a really good little reel. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> he's not big, guys, but he's a fish and he's on the banger. Nice. Oh no, we got your eyeball. Ooh, it didn't stick. Good, good, good. We got you both jaws and your eye. Dude, you were just not coming off. Not at all. Okay, cool. Well, buddy, you aren't big. And if I catch all five baits, we're going to definitely switch you back. But 
Thanks for biting, little man. All right, let's knock that banger off the list. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So we're gonna save the bad boy for last, the bullgill. We're gonna throw the swim bait. See if we can't catch something on the swim bait. I don't know about the swim bait, guys. We'll see. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, come on, bud. Careful. Yes. There we go, guys. We knocked out the little pre-molded swim bait. Not a bad little bait, honestly. I like. I thought, you know, I thought it was a filler item, and it might be a filler item. But the color, the presentation, spot on. All right, up next, we got this K-Lens Tickle Tail. This is such an interesting plastic. It's got all these little nubbins on it, but it's just a little swim minnow, you know? We're gonna weightless rig this. I don't wanna add the weight because it didn't get included in the box. If we can catch a fish on this without adding weight, it just adds to the pros for the mystery tackle box. We'll see. I like this color too. It's like this amber green pumpkin with red and chartreuse flake in it and a lot of black flake. I have a feeling we'll catch a fish on it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh-oh. Is this bait gonna be more challenging than we thought? Come on, we just need one good bite. And then we got several hours to get a bite on that baby bull, uh, I keep saying bull shad, bullgill, gosh. There we go. Yes. Feels decent. Nah, well, guys. You're a healthy little bass, buddy. I appreciate you stopping by. You got a parasite on your eye. I'm sorry to touch your eye, Bob. Let's get that off of there. All right, bud. Get one more good look at him. There you go. All right, buddy, thank you for biting. Whew. Nice, guys, we've hit every single bait in this box now, except, bum, 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 the bullgill. I could see this being an excellent trailer on like a chatter bait or a swim jig. As a standalone swim bait, I mean, maybe, you never know. But let's, uh, let's try our luck with that bullgill till that alarm goes off. I have a feeling it's not going to be easy. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap. Okay, well, that's going to do it for today. We're not done with the MTB slam. Like I said, six hours, we spent two of it fishing. We still got all these baits knocked out, so we're feeling good about it. We just got to get a fish on this bluegill. Bluegill. <laughs> We just got to get a fish on this bullgill. And I tell you what, if I was going to break my PB, this is going to be the bait to do it. So let's go. It's going to be tomorrow for you, for me. It's going to be right now for you. This is day two, spot three. You guys are well familiar with this spot by now. I got one rod, one reel, one lure. And we're going to try to get it done. I'm out here in flip flops and gym shorts, guys. Like, I was not prepared. I had a couple of minutes. Oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Get in here. <laughs> John from Creek Fishing Adventures just made fun of people who say let's go. So I'm not going to say it. But, uh. <sighs> I am stoked. I am so stoked, guys. Yes. <sighs> I think that was like, I don't know, a dozen casts. <sighs> Later, buddy. Okay. Okay. We're gonna throw a few more casts, obviously. 
Oh, and we're gonna catch another one. He feels better. He is better. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. We've only been fishing for eight minutes. We've caught two fish on this lure. Guys, I did not expect this to go so well. Like it's been such a grind lately. You know, my heron fishing with light tackle, like that even that took two days. <laughs> nice. Yes, that's a little pound and a half for guys. Not bad for Heron Lake, really. We caught our two fish. We knocked out the slam. We're gonna wrap it up, we're gonna get back home. I'll meet you on the porch and we'll talk about the box, our overall impressions, and just basically generally summarize. Let's go. We are back on the porch. Uh, we took a couple of days to mull it over, think it over, do a little research. And I think I've come up with a good way to grade these baits and the boxes overall. We're gonna go over every bait, the value, what it would cost if you wanted to buy it online, how I felt about it, and so on and so forth. And then at the end of it, we're gonna give the box an overall score based on three criteria. So let's not waste any time, let's get into it. First things first, the Optimum Baits. Now this doesn't have a name because this is the original Optimum Baits swim bait. It came in a three and a half inch all the way to I think a six, an eight inch swim bait. I actually had to do some digging to find this lure. Uh, this is their original run. They've since made many like it. This was first premiered in 2014. And what that tells me is this is an old stock bait that they wanted to get off the shelves so they threw it in the box. It is $8.99 wherever you can find it. Do I think that's the best $8.99 that you could spend on a lure to throw in a box? Maybe. It's well reviewed. It gets well good reviews online. Would I personally buy this bait? Probably not, because once that tail is gone, you're just left with a swim jig head, and that's all you got. Next up, we got the Kaylin's Tickle Tail. Now, this bait, is a, it's a nine pack. If you wanted to buy it online, it'd be $4.99, which puts it right in line with like Kai Tech and Strike King, a little less or a little more expensive than Zoom and Yum. For a similarly priced bag, you get more baits in those. But overall, I liked the bait. I liked the action. I liked the little protrusions on the side that caught water and made it jiggle. And I looked at the reviews for this bait, and online, a lot of smallmouth fishermen use this bait. So, it gets a thumbs up from me. And next, the bait I actually, I think I had the biggest problem with in this bag. And that is the Gambler Go Fish. Um, uh, the little, the three inch little otter. I, you know, I liked the bait itself. It didn't have a tremendous amount of action, but it did what it was supposed to do for a creature bait. But here's my issue. If you go on Gambler's website, a uh, nine pack of these cost $5.69. If you want to order them from uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle, it costs the same. They only include four in the bag. This is a $50 box, and you're not gonna give me a full bag of $5 baits? Eh. Eh, I don't know. Plus, I found these in two of my three mystery tackle boxes. I think this is a bait that doesn't sell, so they put it in the box. And next, we're gonna talk about the stickies. Um, I got nothing to complain about. I said it before, I like it's a whole pack of hooks. They are, in fact, very sticky. Probably not as heavy of a gauge wire as I would use, but then again, we're swimming it, we swim it, weightless, <clears throat> on a three and a half inch paddle tail. You don't really need a heavy hook for that. So the stickies, thumbs up. If you want a seven pack of stickies, it's gonna cost you $4.99. I don't have any strong feelings about them. I'd use them next to Gamagatsu or Guggen Hooks. No, no complaints at all. Up next, we're gonna talk about the Zakoshi Bug. Now, this is one I have mixed feelings about because it's $5.29 for a six pack. Compare that to the Z-Man little Ned Cross that you can get. They're eight for like anywhere between $3.99 and four something. Uh, they're not terribly expensive and they last forever until you lose one. Now, the, the Zakoshi Bug is made out of a similar plastic, but I can't speak for its durability yet. I just feel like when a company puts this much effort into packaging, uh, that money, money went into that, and that's money that's not going into bait development. I kind of tend to think that the 10,000 fish products are more geared towards catching fishermen than they are towards fish. Now, that's the only negatives I got to say about it, and those are some strong negatives, but the bait catches fish. It's a really good bait. Um, I'm going to use the other five of these, and when I'm out, I'll probably just go back to uh, Z-Man. 
and you can't talk about the Sakoshi bugs without talking about the Perfection Lure Shaky Heads. Now, I had a rough time with these because we were fishing grass. And grass, you know, all these protrusions, the open hook, we caught it. However, the bait did stand up. It made the, it made the bait quite presentable. I would give those thumbs up. I think a three pack of those is gonna cost you $5.99. Uh, it's, not, it's not the cheapest option that you have, but it's not the worst option that you have. It's also worth mentioning that these have, I believe these have owner hooks in them, which any bait, like a, a jig head or a shaky head or any swim bait hook that tells you what kind of bait they, or what kind of hook they use in it, is generally going to be a better bait. I don't know if I'd spend $5.99 on three shaky heads, uh, but I'd say it's about par for the course for a higher end shaky head. So it gets a neutral score from me. And there's a reason we saved the last three for last. These are my three favorite lures in the box. I feel like this is where your money went. I'm gonna talk about them. First, let's talk about the Diesel Jigs Hard Hat Football Head Jig. It's a half ounce Okeechobee Craw. It's got a four aught hook. It's, it's a great jig. The bait keeper is not a wire bait keeper, which I find a little disappointing. Considering for $5.99, uh, that's right on par with the Six Sense Divine Jigs, and they have that awesome screw lock. But I can't argue with the fact that it swam well, it felt good in the water. I don't know if I would buy this over a Divine Six Sense Jig or a Dirty Work or a Dirty Jigs tackle, but overall, it was a great jig. $5.99 gets you this jig. I might even buy a couple. You never know. Up next. We've got the two flagship baits in the box. Obviously, they're gonna be good baits. Uh, this is where the majority of the price of this box came from. Uh, the Guggen Banger in Sexy Shad. It's just a staple bait. Uh, Sexy Shad is a staple color. The Guggen Banger has proven to be good crankbait. $7.99, that's on par with Six Cents. Uh, higher end Bandit stuff, some higher end Strike King stuff. I mean, Guggen put themselves in the market right where they need to be. Thumbs up from me. Up next, last, certainly not least, we got the Buka Bullgill. I mean, what can you say about it? It's a Mike Buka Bullgill. It's the same thing as a bull shad, except gill shaped. It swam great, it caught me two bass back to back. I promise you, this is going into my tackle box. I can't wait to hook up on a big fish on this. This bait will set you back $14.99. Yeah, it's a great bait, what can I say? So you add up all of the total of all the baits that are in this box and the value came to $60.05. So over $60 in a $50 box, true to their word. But I wanna break it down and go over my individual scores for them. For fishability, out of the box, it gets a four out of five. Everything that I needed to fish, everything in this box was in here. I could have used the swim bait on the back of that jig, used it as a trailer, and I even caught a fish weightless. What I wish they had done is either included a cheap lead jig head or a cheap pack of lead weights to throw on the, like, so I could Texas rig my extra wide gap hooks. And I think that would have just been an all encompassing package. Had they put in those three cheap lead weights, five out of five. I was impressed with this box. I didn't think I was gonna be. I was impressed. For the value, um, I had to think long and hard about this because every bait does cost what it says it costs. Um, however, I think with baits like the Optima Baits original swim bait and the Little Otter in the box, $8.99 and then supposedly $5 for a pack of just generally, you know, average plastics, that was $13 in this box that I think could have been better spent just about any other way. But at the same time, you got the bull gill and you got the Guggen's banger and you got the hard hats uh, diesel jig. So I, I, I weighed it out. 3.5 out of 5 is what I settled on. And I feel good about that score. And then last but not least, fun. Did I have fun with this box? That's important. You spend $50 on a box tackle. Did you enjoy opening it up? Did you enjoy tying on the baits? Did you try some stuff you hadn't tried before? Did you get some enjoyment out of it? For fun? Five out of five. <laughs> I had a blast with this box. I hope the other two are this much fun. So, you average that all out. Four out of five, 3.5 out of five, and five out of five. I think you get 4.1. But we're gonna round it up to 4.25 out of five. The Elite Box from Mystery Tackle Box, 
it was a positive experience for me. Would I recommend it? I don't know. Because I've tried the regular tackle box and I've tried the regular or the pro box. I did not have positive experiences with those. I was actually underwhelmed by those boxes. But I think if you're gonna spend $50 on a box, yeah, why not? Sure, go ahead. I think $50 may better be spent just picking out some baits you like, but we're gonna cover that in another video. So let's wrap this up. Do you agree or disagree with any of my assessments of this box? Were there any baits that you thought were particularly good? Maybe you thought the Optimum baits would do great for smallies in Northern Wisconsin, or you thought maybe Redfish down in Florida. Let me know. What do you think about the baits in this box? Was there something that you looked at you're just like, eh? Were you, did you agree with me or disagree with me about my little assessment of the little otter? A uh, very basic bait that for $5 could have been spent better elsewhere. Or maybe you also wanted to get the bullgill or the bull shad. I think this was box number 88. If you find one in Dick's Sporting Goods, I think that's the box that'll get you that bullgill and that uh, banger. But we're going to wrap it up. I want to get this edited. I want to get it uploaded. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this. So I need you to remember, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. God bless you. Keep fishing, and we'll see you in the next one.